Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today we have a vehicle that we recently got in from Japan and this is a Mitsubishi Mini Truck and this is a four-wheel drive and some of our vehicles come in and they have surface rust and this would be one of those types of vehicles where it's a wonderful running vehicle, five speed, all that, but it just has surface rust on it. And so if you're looking for a truck that's reliable and good running, um, low miles, but not necessarily uh, looks super duper, this is a good one to consider. So this is a 1994. The stock number is MT2394, four wheel drive, five speed with high and low transfer case. 37,271 miles, and it is $6,400. Now, the reason this is $6,400 is because when we bought this, it looked like this. Now, that's all surface rust. And if you're looking for a mini truck that looks phenomenal, right, like so many of the ones we have, this is not the truck for you. But if you're looking for a mini truck, and let me show you this. This um, is not rust through. This is where the water is designed from the factory. And you probably can't see it, but there's a factory wheat hole right there. So the water comes down and drains there and there. That is a factory wheat hole. So the water comes out of there from around this gasket. Okay, so if you're looking for a really nice mini truck, this is not the truck for you. But if you're looking for a very good running mechanically sound truck that has surface rust on it, this is one that I would consider. And also, I think it's important to note that the tires are in very good condition. All four of them look good. Let's look for door dings. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there are no door dings on this vehicle. You know, if you wanted to get this painted, if you can find somebody to paint this thing and just shoot it white for $300, then you would have a mini truck that would pop. Because I'm noticing that this does not have any door dings so far there may be a lot on the other side i have no idea we'll find out but now for the bed this is all in good shape no dents okay so we do have some dents right here right there right there right there um, our trucks are titled. They have clear North Carolina titles. Again, guys, no dents at the rear. So this is a unique truck. I mean, it just looks terrible. It does. It looks terrible because of the surface rust, but it is in good shape. Mechanically, yes, and structurally. That's what I'm trying to say, structurally. This side, on the passenger side, looks very nice. No structural damage. No dings. The rear of the cab is tight. I don't mean the surface rest. I did point out these dings already. Here's the roof. Again, structurally, the roof is great but it has surface rust no rust through i want to emphasize that and when you find out how nice it runs ah okay passenger side good size little dent right there i mean you know the size of a plum maybe like you took a golf ball like you took a golf ball and hit it other than that it looks really, really nice. And again, the tires are in really good shape. 
Here is a view from the front looking back. Looks really good. The bumper looks really good. And the front of the truck does not have a single door ding. All right, so now let's open the door and look inside. Here is the perimeter of the door. A little dirty. We got a new detail guy, so hopefully our trucks will look even better. But this is really important. So under here, guys, you don't have rust. That's what really matters. Let's look under the bed. Clean. Clean. Clean where it really counts. Uh, here, it's got surface rust. Um, the seats have some very traditional splits where the thread has let go at the seams. So there is that. It doesn't affect how it feels when you're sitting on the seat. Oh, the door panel is in very good condition on the driver's door and on the passenger door. All right. Now I do have the truck in two wheel drive, which is very important. Um, All right, let's take this for a drive. I'm gonna go all the way to the river bottom and um, instead of turn around in my typical location because I want to show you how this runs coming up the steep hill where typically, you know, if a truck looks bad, which this looks a little rough with all that surface rust, the assumption might be, well, it must run bad. And that, it, that would not be accurate for this vehicle. This vehicle runs great. It's a five-speed with a two-speed transfer case. So you can be off-road or on-road. There's 90, 95 kilometers, which is almost 60 miles an hour. And that's not a big deal for this vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around here. All right, now let's head back. We have sold six vehicles today, and that's because we have people coming from all over the place to buy mini trucks from us because we have a service department. We service our vehicles with 5W30 full synthetic engine oil. The real difficulty is customs and getting good trucks in Japan. The risk we run is getting junk and having to deal with inferior mini trucks. There is, people, an absolute epidemic. There's these Johnny Come Latelys jumping in the business all the time, and they end up getting burned because they don't know how to buy a good mini truck, and they import garbage. And I get calls every day of the week now. And that's why I say it's, an, it's like an epidemic because this has been for the last year and a half, and it's getting worse and worse every month. 
I get more and more phone calls from people saying, will you work on my mini trucks? Well, we just can't because if we did, we'd never have time to, you know, make sure our own stuff is in good shape. But <clears throat> that is a problem. People are bringing in garbage and selling it to unsuspecting people who think, oh, it must be nice. But the key is to get really low mileage stuff that is in good shape. And this runs great, by the way. I didn't really focus on that, but we had no trouble getting up that hill and it accelerated in fourth gear. It's a great truck. Um, got the heat on. Um, and you will be very happy with the longevity of this truck as long as you don't mind the surface rust. And it is $6,400. So this is priced at like the old days when we first got into business stuff was sixty four hundred dollars and now stuff's more expensive but um this is a nice truck with you know 36 37 thousand miles i think it was um 37271 but um we do cherry pick our trucks and try to get stuff with low miles and then we service it I've got a great mechanic. If you have a problem, God forbid, but if something did go wrong with the truck down the road, we'd be able to back you up and, and you know, help you get, like, say your water pump leaked or something. We can help you with that. If you're interested in this truck, feel free to call us at 336-777-9957. And... <clears throat> You can also email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com or you can call us. Oh, no. And sorry, I'm a little bit uh, repetitive today. Um, so you can also check out our website at mayberryminitrucks.com. So... Email us, sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. You can email us 